What's going on YouTube? Ground Chuck here in the Ground Chuck game room. Uh, so I've got a PSA 10 card vintage card submission return uh, from Dustin Bellinger's group. Uh, and I believe it was mailed off. I mailed it to Dustin back in January, late January of 21. So yeah, it's been a long time coming. Nothing against Dustin. It's not his fault. Uh, it's just how the B the PSA backlog was. Uh, but before we get to that, I'm going to get some stuff set up here. And obviously you guys know who I am. So I'm just going to leave that there. Uh, shout out to Eddie. Eddie's Cardboard Chaos. Hey, uh, he's almost at 600 subs. He's doing a giveaway. So go look and follow Eddie. I'm going to go ahead and put a link down below for him, as well as my boy Dustin, Dustin Belliger, for doing this. And actually, I'm going to move these because it's going to be 10 cards, like I said, 10 card submission. I know the grades. It's not a blind reveal. I don't do that. I actually did... Uh, predict the grades too so i'll go over each of the cards dustin also sent me a few of these uh notre dame i'm not a notre dame fan but i respect them and the way that they've always had a history in college football so thanks dustin for those appreciate that and he also said hey once your vintage cards get here i got some uh seahawks autos to send you and so that was norm johnson here's brian blades and dave craig I love Dave Craig, even though he's in the record books for all the wrong reasons as far as uh, fumbles, etc., and turnovers. So I'm going to get started real quick. Uh, I love, don't get me wrong, I love having cardboard in my collection, raw and slabbed. Uh, I figured I'd take advantage of this and forget what the order was costing. I, I think it was a really good deal right before the big shutdown and everything else. But uh, I forget what it was, but Dustin, you're a great dude. Thanks for letting me get in on this. And I think it was about $12 a card, and that's including shipping and insurance and everything. Dustin does a great job of that. I am going to go ahead and start showing some cards. So I'm going uh, newest to oldest. So I want a 69 Raleigh Fingers. My prediction on this, my guess, was going to be a 6, and it came back, a PSA 6. It's just a really good-looking card. I bought this raw um, a long time ago for about 20 25 bucks. The centering's decent. I really enjoyed it. The back centering, not so decent. But you know what? This is just an awesome Hall of Famer. Most of these are Hall of Famers to add to my PC collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Raleigh without the mustache right there right now. I was real happy with this one. Uh, Hank Aaron's 68 tops. I predicted a four and got a four. So, I mean, I am I am no professional grader by any means, but uh, I, I do know what to kind of look for. There's a couple on here I was way off, but we'll get to that. Uh, I just love this card, the burlap, but on the back, obviously, you can see off center. So that's probably what knocked it down quite a bit. The corners are, they're like your normal 68. I mean, they're they are going to look rough, but they aren't, but they are, if that makes any sense. Uh, but I was glad to add a nice hank to the uh, PC in a slab. And... Uh, this card, I predicted a seven. Yes, a seven. And it's a 67 tops Whitey Ford. But it was came back with the minimum size requirement. So it's not an altered or trimmed card. But I'm, I haven't compared it yet to any 68s. And when I opened the box up, I noticed something on it. You can see right there. And I'll actually, I'm going to take it out of the... Uh, card saver, but this corner is got a ding on it. And I promise you, and I know Dustin, you have nothing to do with this, uh, but I promise you that was not there when I sent that in. So, I mean, I, I, I get it. PSA has to take things out of the holder and look at them and examine them. Uh, but maybe when they slid it back into this sleeve into the, into the card saver, 
there might have been a boo-boo and things happen. I get it, but you know what? This is a flipping blazer in my opinion. It was sharp, centering, incredible. And then I get the minimum size requirement and it comes back with a ding. Uh, it's okay. It's going to be in my collection. It's my PC. None of these are cards that I needed to move or anything and or want to move. I mean, I guess you can always move or sell things when you when the things are right. I mean, if the opportunity presents itself, but I was I was a little disappointed with that one not coming back with a grade, but it is what it is. You got to expect that when you're doing this, when you play this game and when you play it long enough. Uh, I was off on this next one. I said this Tony Perez, it came back a PSA 3. It's a high number or high series 65, excuse me. I don't know if they designate them as a high number. Uh, it was rough, but I said it was going to, it came back a three. I thought it was going to get a four. So, I mean, I wasn't way off and I, I see, you know, the corners. I see that and, and they're soft down there. And I think there was one little wrinkle somewhere in there. I forget where, but I can't really see it. But uh, back was off center too. And you can see the chipping and where the soft corners are and whatnot. But I love it. I mean, it's a Hall of Famer. I mean, keeping this in the PC, obviously, and adding it to the PC in, in a slab form is, is very nice. Uh, and, you know, it's a way to preserve my – it's not a – it's not – these aren't cards that I'm building sets with or anything. By the way, I did start a 71 Tops Black Beauty set last night. Oh, my goodness. I'm doing a raw form, but it's just oh, it's so much fun to start building that. Uh, sorry, I got off track, squirrel. Uh, so, I mean, th these are cards that just have them in slabs. They just look so, they look really good uh, raw. And so now they look e a little bit better, I, I would say. So right here, I was off on this one too. Then th my first 0.5 grade of the sub. I think I have one more. But a 64 tops. Uh, World Series game one, Koufax strikes out 15. This is, I thought it was going to be a six. So I wasn't that far off. That corner is a ding, obviously. But I just, I love the look of this card. An action shot by Koufax. LA beats New York uh, five to two. World Series strikes out 15. Koufax stuff is amazing. I just love the color on the back. The color is vibrant. Another word we hear all the time, but it's just very nice. A little top to bottom OC, left to right OC, but I, I love this card. I love it. And for those of you who don't, I love horizontal cards. <laughs> I think they look really good. They don't look so hot in slabs, but they look really good. And so that's okay. I love this card. And I am very glad to have added this to the PC. Another Hall of Famer I have shown five cards and they've all been hall of famers so that's kind of what i do i love collecting hall of famers uh next one not a hall of famer but i think some someday will be and boy i was off two grades on this one i thought this Pinella rookie was going to get like a six and these are high dollar cards either i mean a lot of them yeah, they're, they're really not i mean but they, they they really are nice and they presented well and so uh, on this, I, I didn't really see much too awful bad. You know, that looks like a little bit of a wrinkle down. I, maybe it's not. Maybe it was just my shadow. It was. Uh, obviously, that fisheye kind of detracts from the card a little bit, too. And there's one more that's right there by the sea and catcher. But, you know, I, I 64 Senators card. Not as vibrant as the uh, other, and it was is it is off center left to right. So, as the other sixty four, I'm going to pull that up just so you can see. I mean, you can see the difference. I mean, it's just the white and the orange is just so bright on the Kofax. But uh, on the Pinella, not as much. I'm going to scoot that back and slide over a little bit, guys. While I'm doing two things at once, so I mean, happy with the card though. Uh, skippered my mariners you know who doesn't know that and he was a fiery temper i love it shout out to mangini and his video when he met lou Pinella. i think that was a cool video so i'm uh gonna put mr lulu right here and actually i'm gonna 
lay a couple of these guys down because one of my favorites is coming up. I bought this car raw, I want to say for about 30 bucks. I forget what I paid actually, it was some time ago. A Mickey Mantle. My prediction on this one, this is a Jello. Uh, you saw in my most recent video that I love Jello and postcards. Uh, this, I thought it would come back at three just because of the the black line. But then, you know what? I, I, I don't know what I was thinking because there is that little surface wrinkle right here. And it's a crease a uh, little bit. And there's some black line down there. So I thought I was going to, I thought I'd get, I was, I was shooting for a three. Thought I'd get a two, got a one five. And I'm fine with that. Uh, the Maybe that little dot, the staining kind of probably did some things to it. On the back, I don't think they really look at this as much, but there is that little, and that doesn't go through the card, but it's like a surface wrinkled crease on the cardboard. It does not go through. As you can see right here, it's not up there. But you know what? Another Mick to my collection in a slab. Thank you. I love it. I love it. So I'm just ecstatic to add that. I mean, I just, I think it's just beautiful. I don't do, I don't have a lot of jellos, but that is my best jello, I would say. Obviously, any kind of Mick in a collection is could has a good, strong candidate to be a best in the collection. So i got three more. Another Hall of Famer, obviously, with a Mick. Here's two Hall of Famers in one card. It's the 1963 Topps uh, Power Plus, Hank Aaron and Ernie Banks. I shot low for this. I thought it was going to get a four. Uh, again, it came back a six. So not knocking PSA, but there's, I wish they would get more detailed in with your returns and say, it was this grade because. I mean, I know they haven't. I know they, they won't. But, I mean, you can see some roughness right here. There's a little rub and took off kind of the surface a little bit. And I knew that going into it. That's why I said, hey, a four, but it was just sharp all around on a 63. You know, there's a little bit of whiting on that corner right there. Sharp, uh, off center, left. To, I mean, you know, probably I'd say a 70, no, 65, 35, 70, 70, 30. Uh, back, pretty bright. I love it. Sharp on the back. Uh, centering, not terrible top to bottom it is but you know it's just a great card and they graded it a six so i'm gonna put hank by hank uh and so you just never know you never know what kind of grading you're gonna get you never know what you're gonna get i thought that would be a four if probably less i was shooting high with a four i thought so i thought it might come back a three but it's nice to add those hall of famers in a slab um 1961 post Roberto Clemente. I do not like it that it says Bob. Uh, I wish that it did not. I'm trying to think if the other post serials. This is 61. This is the first year of the uh, the cards, the cutout cards on the box. Uh, I wonder if his other say Roberto. I can't remember. I think they do. So I'm glad that they, they do if they do. Uh, I thought that this would come back a three. Not real far off with the two. I'm very happy with the two. Uh, wavy cut line on the right side, though. I think that's really what did it. That was the... Uh, but there was some black showing. And on the bottom, very faintly some. Now, like I said about the crease before on the mantle, the little uh, wrinkle on the back... This one had one too. It comes top to bottom. A little staining from the cardboard. I think, I don't, I mean, they have to obviously take that into consideration, but it's 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 factory. It's That's the way it came. So I was so happy to get this, this back and that's going for my post set. Uh, and just, I just love Hall of Famers. I love vintage, I love post, but that was an, an awesome one. And then I hit this nail right on the head, a 61 Tops Maze. I thought it was going to get a five. It did. A little bit of a wrinkle on that corner. A little bit of a dog ear. Remember, they used to call them dog ears back in the day when I was growing up. Uh, top to bottom off center. Uh, left to right off center. Uh, but 
not bad. I love it. I don't care. I love it. It's a little bit of a print dot right there. So that probably took it down some too. Uh, back, it's clean, very clean. Off center, left to right, top to bottom looks good. I love reading the cartoons. Let's read this one together. Uh, Willie led the NL in hits last year. Willie is swinging again. What an honor. He was the MVP of the NL in 1954. I love those cartoons. I love the Topps cartoons. Let me know what you guys think about the Topps cartoons. Uh, but this is the last one that I'm putting up here. We're going to move Mr. Perez, Tony Perez, and put him down here. Let me know what you think about my return, how they do. Uh, I just really... I was very happy to get this because I think it's about 17 months. I know there's been a lot of videos. Hey, I got my return 17 months later. I'm not complaining. I knew it was going to be like that. Any Anytime you sub to PSA, you got to be, you, you just got to sit there, take your ticket, and wait until they call your number. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Ground Chuck, I know it's a longer video. Ground Chuck's going to be out under 16 and a half minutes. You guys stay safe. Have a great weekend. I'm excited to put these back in my collection. Thanks again, Dustin, and go follow Eddie. Peace.